What's up guys, this is Jordan here from Uprint SA. We're doing a, a video of branding onto these standard mugs using your mug press. And we're going to be using our chemicals uh, as well as our marine air paper. Uh, we are unfusing the logo, so the logo has come out in its powder form so you can wipe this off of the paper as our usual standard uh, procedure. And uh, I'm going to be spraying uh, PPX chemical onto the logo so it, uh, it binds with, with the toner. Your standard mug, you need your scissors, your heat tape, a blade, your marine A paper, I've already uh, gone and prepared mine here. And your, I've just got a standard mug press here, not, nothing too fancy, and a bucket of water, a little bucket for uh, the rubbish. Alright, next guys, we're going to be taking this paper, I'm going to be spraying some PPX chemical and it's going to bind with the toner. I don't want to heat fuse this yet, I want to bind the toner with chemical, it's going to give you a much stronger finish. Alright, so what I'm going to do before I spray, I want to first uh, test if the spray gun is spraying at the right pressure and volume. As you can see there, that's the right, it must be, it must be a very slow, you can see you can change your spray gun. Uh, and with a lot of air pressure, it allows for a lot of chemical to come out. You don't want too much chemical coming out at once, uh, otherwise it's going to blow the tone off of the paper, so it's a small amount of volume. So you can see the color has changed. You can see the chemical on the, on the paper. It must be like a nice fine spray. Just change the colors, not spraying too much. Too much chemical can actually damage the logo. All right, next guys, the next thing we need to take a look at is we gotta make sure that you sprayed every part of the logo. Your blacks will generally be a magenta color before you spray them. You want to spray everything and make sure that the colors have completely changed and that the chemical has dried on the paper. It generally dries within 30 seconds. It's a very fast drying process. Once you've done that, you can cut your logos out with your, your blade and your scissors. Get your heat tape ready, place it on each side of your paper, and then we'll move on to the next step. Thanks. All right, next time we're gonna be wiping PPX mixed with activator. PPX has got about 80% in here, yeah, 70 to 80% PPX, and about 20 to 30% activator. Mix it nicely for about a minute. And then you're going to take your cloth and you're going to then wipe it on each side of the mug. We are going to be doing a double sided brand here. Okay, take a dry part of the cloth and wipe the mug. No need to use your palm in here. Alright, then you're going to take your, your logo, you're going to get it ready, place it on your, your mug. You can maybe get a, a, a jig to hold your mug up in place. Place your logo nicely in the center. Okay, wrap it around nicely. Using your heat tape, stick it down nicely. Let's jump on the other side. Take your logo. Place it down nicely. Put it in the center. Take down on each side. Make sure it's nice and tight. Place your graphic inside the red rubber mat that you get from Uprint. Just helps with when you're placing it inside you. It's going to give it that added. Okay, just double check. Place it in. 190 degrees at 28 seconds. All right. After your 28 seconds, take your mug out. You're going to place it straight into your bucket of water, let it sit in there for about 30 seconds. Take the mug out of the water. I'm going to take the tape off on each side. Remove the paper and ready to slide it off. There's a nice uprint finish. Okay, next side. Okay, 
and just slide the paper off and giving you a beautiful finish. Next guys, we're going to be using benzene and methylated spirits, mixed 50-50 in a little mug here. Um, and I'm going to be cleaning over the logo, you dip your cloth in. You want more chemical than anything else, you don't want to use the cloth and apply a lot of pressure. Uh, I do also suggest, please wear gloves when using this chemical. Just so you wear a mask if you're going to be using chemicals as well. You're just going to clean around the, the mug. Put a nice amount of pressure in between the logos. And then nice and gently over the logos. It is clean around, making sure that everything is removed. And then nice and gently over the logo, like so. Okay. Make sure that everything is off there, so that when you spray this with three-part mix, the logo is sealed in, and that there's no marks on the on the mug. Right, next guys, what we're going to be doing is spraying the three-pot mix. First, I want to do a little tutorial on how to spray the three-pot mix. It must have, it must come out of the gun at a higher volume than a normal chemical, uh, so that it sits on the, the mug with a finer spray. It must come out, as you can see, it's coming out at a much higher volume, and it must be sprayed nicely like that. So it sits perfectly on the mug. Okay, spray off the mug, and then on. Okay, up and down, right around, all the way to the back. Okay, and you can always just take a look where you haven't sprayed. You can see it becomes very glossy. That's the type of finish you want on your mug. Alright, next we're going to let that sit for 10 minutes and then we'll put it into the oven. Alright next guys, our final process, we are going to be using a convectional oven to heat up these mugs. We used to use a heat gun uh, for your mug printing, but we have moved to a little convectional oven. You can get nine mugs in there at once. Uh, we have just purchased this little uh, Swan convectional oven. Um, uh, it's got a 1500 watts to 3000 watt power. Very easy to use. We got that for 900 Rand, South African Rand. Um, you can equate that to your uh, dollar price or any other currency that you're using. All right, take your mug after it's dried for at least 10 minutes. If it has not dried uh, completely, you'll be able to see on the mug uh, if the chemical is still wet and maybe you've over sprayed the chemical, leave it for another five minutes. Make sure that it's dried before you put it into the oven. I preset the oven to 200 degrees, you can go slightly higher if you want. Open up your oven, I've preheated it for about 2 minutes, place it inside your oven and then go in there for 5 minutes. Right guys, after your 5 minutes of being in the oven, this is the end result. I have let it sit and cool, cool down for about 10 minutes so I can touch the handle. You can also see there's a nice glossiness to the surface. That is pure evidence that the three-part mix or your triple X chemical has been mixed correctly it must be nice and shiny and that is a perfect finish onto your standard mug this is just a standard mug that you can buy from checkers or any of your supermarkets you no longer need a sublimation mug in a mug press